traders all over the world. Today's video is specifically for you. So if you trade commodities, stick around because we're going to show you all the ways you can use TradingView to track, follow, and research commodities. Now, one of the key things to know and that you will observe here is that we are currently looking at light crude oil futures, and you can see that as well in the symbol search, and that's really where everything will start for you as a commodity trader, because if you click the symbol search, you can now search for the specific commodities that you want to see. In addition, you have these subcategories here. So if we have all and we type in oil, we are going to see all of the assets that mention oil across stocks, funds, futures, cryptos, you name it, you will find it here. But of course, you can also filter based on the asset class. So if you want to look at oil stocks, well, make sure you have stocks selected in any companies that mention oil, you'll see it here. But of course, for all of you futures traders out there, this is where the futures tab comes into play and where you will find the majority of commodities and their futures contracts. So for this video, video we're going to use futures. And what we're going to do is type in oil as we already have. And now we see all of the oil futures contracts available to us. And pay close attention to two key features here, which is this drop down arrow, which we can click. And now we can see all of the contracts related to oil with their specific tickers and dates. Potentially, more importantly, we can also see the exchange where that data is coming from. New York Mercantile Exchange. We hover our mouse over that and we can see it. Now, all commodity traders prefer, prefer different sources of data and information. And this is how you can quickly fact check that is by looking at the data source and comparing that to the name in front of you. For this video, we are going to actually chart crude oil futures and walk you through these futures and how you could use that as a commodity trader. But also pay attention to the fact that you have economic indicators as well, which you can see we still have oil typed in. And look at this, we can see export numbers, rigs. If we keep scrolling down, we can even see production. So there are some macroeconomic data points as well that you can research and chart. But we're going to go back to futures and also remind you that you can sort this by a specific country. So depending where you are in the world or where you want to look, you can select that specific place and only look at futures contracts or commodity data points in those regions. You can also narrow down your category as well. For example, we'll look, we are looking at oil. Let's click energy. Now you'll see in our symbol search, it's literally only oil symbols that are related to energy. So we've really filtered it down. And where that is rather important is in the aspect of some contracts are called soybean oil. You can see here oil, we're searching oil. But say we want crude oil or other energy focused oil futures. Well, just by making sure we have energy selected, now we've removed symbols like soybean oil. So let's go ahead and click crude oil futures. We have it here in our chart. We also can select a candlestick chart, but futures traders and commodity traders all over the world like to visualize their data points in different ways. The choice is yours. Once you've found the chart type of your choice, make sure you select it. Then of course you want to pay attention to your time frame, whether you're looking at a one month chart. So in this case, each candle represents a month or a weekly chart or a daily chart, or perhaps something entirely custom can also be found here as well. So now you have the basics once you get to the chart as a commodity trader on how to get started. But we have more key features to show you as a commodity trader, including contract switching. So you can see the contract switch on the chart with this little icon here, contract switch. So when one contract ends and the next contract begins, you can see that exact date. So when, it, when it's happening, but also the contract dates themselves with their specific symbols. Now you really get to decide if you want to see that on your chart or not in the settings menu. So we can go to events and now we can see it says continuous contract switch. So we click and it's gone or we click again and it's there and let's add some breaks, which means line breaks going up and down. So we just simply never miss it. Let's keep the breaks off for now. Click OK. So now we are building the chart of our choice and we are also showing the data that we want to see, which does remind us that in the chart settings, you have tons of capabilities to create the custom chart of your choice 
depending, for example, on the time zone of where the symbol trades or where you are, and so much more. Because, for example, if you are based in a specific part of the world, we are recording this video from New York, make sure you have your right time zone selected. Or maybe you want the time zone on your chart to just correspond with the exchange, which means you can bounce around different exchanges for different commodities and it will update the time according to that exchange. But let's stick to New York for now. We also have adjust for contract changes as well. And remember, we have a help center with tons of information and data that will walk you through all of these advanced features if you don't know what they are. You can adjust for contract changes from the chart settings here, but you'll also see that there's a helpful little button here at the bottom right that literally just says B adjust, back adjust, adjust for contract changes, and we're off. You can also use the settlement as close on a daily interval. The choice is yours once again, but the point being is that, and you can see by the way how the candles are changing based on how you're calculating that settlement and that contract, but the point being is that the choice is yours. You have several different capabilities to display your data depending on how you like to research, chart, trade, or follow these assets. The key point is once you use the symbol search to find the commodity of your choice, you now have these very unique features to then augment your process and really improve it or make it more efficient. Now, we do also want to point your eyes toward the watch list details and news menu, because as a commodities trader, you can create your own watch list based on the commodities of your choice. You can use this plus symbol to add symbols to your watch list. You can also right click anywhere on your watch list to get more features, such as adding these little color flags, adding sections, adding symbols from here, making comparisons and notes and much more. So this is a rather helpful way to breeze through many commodities if you take the time to build a list that fits your needs. And once you do make your list, you can see we have this section called commodities. Every time you click a specific commodity in your watch list, the chart will update in real time just like this as well. Now, another important thing about this menu is the ability to drag up the details menu or really anywhere you please. Don't forget, you can also customize this as well because what you can see now is additional data points such as the daily range, the 52 week range. There's also a news button here that you can click. And by the way, we're now looking at Palladium. We had clicked this on our watch list and we can see all the news that's related to Palladium and potentially other precious metals. So you have this news feed and you can see the data source where that news is coming in from. You can see ideas published by other traders and investors and mines as well. So there's some, some, some social tools that you can access. And for all futures contracts, and this is ideally helpful in commodities as well, you get the forward curve, a quick glance at the forward curve, and some contract highlights here. So you can see volume, open interest, contract size, front month, and then technicals and performance as well. So this is another added bonus for futures contracts and commodities by, by that, specifically that you'll get a forward curve feature that doesn't really apply to any other symbol except for futures. So as you can see, you are now gaining an understanding of how this works on TradingView. You now know how to get started as a commodities trader, and you know some of the key features, but it gets even better because at the top of the chart is your indicators, metrics, and strategies menu. Now from here, you can make your own scripts, save them, invite only. You can search classical scripts as well, such as technical indicators or strategies or pro volume profiles, which is rather important, or patterns, which gives you access to automatic chart patterns. Now there won't be any financial metrics for futures or commodities in this case, but you also have access to the Pine Script Library, which is other traders and investors coding from scratch their own indicator or strategy. Additionally, what's rather unhelpful is the search box. So if you use commitment of traders, you can type in COT, COT here and look at this. We've got some caught data here. Financial metrics, legacy metrics total, but also we have the community scripts as well. And we can see net non-commercials versus commercials. So you can type in specific features related to being a commodities trader or futures trader, and then you can access that data on the chart. So let's add net non-commercials versus commercials. Let the data load. And here we are. Let's zoom out a little. 
How fantastic is that? We've now built our own custom chart for our needs. And if we need even more data, for example, maybe we, maybe we want to compare multiple commodities at once. Let's change this back to oil. And actually this one, let's do natural gas. So here's natural gas. So now we've got natural gas on the left, crude oil on the right, and we can have this fit in any monitor or screen that we have. And if we wanted to create even more multi-chart layouts, we could access that as well to make separate charts for all the commodities and futures that we're looking for. So this video is really meant to be an explainer for all of the commodity traders out there and how they can not only access the data they need, which is a key starting point, but also the specific features that are available to you as a commodities trader on TradingView. Now, of course, there is more if you want to head back to your homepage, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to go back to the TradingView homepage. We do want to remind you that it is much more than the chart as well. Because if we go up to markets here and then go down to futures, we have these additional sorting capabilities where we can look at more commodities or futures contracts. And with a click, for example, we can now enter into our futures market prices page. And we can see some of the key symbols here, their performance and technicals. And we can also use these buttons up here at the top to sort as needed by the futures or commodities that we are looking for. How about metals this time, right? Now we have metals, lead, copper, micro gold, palladium, platinum. There's a lot out there for you. Now, one final note before we wrap up this video is the news feature. Because of course, everyone is going to want to follow news about their symbols, whether it's global or asset class specific. You can come to the news tab up here. We just clicked overview, go to futures, and now you have access to futures news. And as you scroll down, you can also see the news based on specific topics of discussion, whether it's a top provider, analysis, corporate activity, world news, that really it's it's up to you. Because for example, you might be watching a commodity that is greatly impacted in a specific part of the world, and now you can sort that part of the world's news, in this case Europe, and follow Europe closely. So ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, that is our walkthrough of how to use TradingView as a commodities trader. There's a whole lot more out there because of course, you can create your own Pine script for your commodities process. You can run strategy tests. You can paper trade to practice all of the drawing tools here that are available to you, the time frame buttons at the bottom, and so much more. But this video was really designed just to get you started. So thanks for watching. Please let us know if you have any questions or comments.